Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on digital modulation. Okay, so for this video, firstly, I will define what is a constellation diagram, what we actually can do with constellation diagram. I guess you know for digital modulation that are ASK, amplitude shift keying, FSK, frequency shift keying, and also PSK, phase shift keying. For constellation diagram, it will be best okay, to use PSK, phase shift keying, okay, to represent in a constellation diagram. Okay, but for ASK, you still can be represented by constellation diagram. But for FSK, it will be very challenging okay, to be represented by constellation diagram. So therefore, in this video, okay, I'm going to show how can we actually represent, for example, 2 ASK, 4 ASK in a constellation diagram. Although, like I mentioned earlier on, it is not so ideal to represent them in constellation diagram. In short, for PSK, they will be the most ideal candidates to be represented by constellation diagram. So therefore, the objective of this video is going to show okay, how can we actually use digital modulation signal like amplitude shift keying with two level and four level and also PSK with two level and also four level to indicate them in a constellation diagram. So hence, this will be the objective of this video. This will be the part four series discussion on digital modulation. So guys, if you're keen to know more about digital modulation, okay, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on digital modulation. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, okay, please drop me an email. Or if not, if you want to have a faster response, you are always welcome to ask me your question through the comment. Before I continue, okay, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like this video. Again, when more of you guys actually help to like this video, this video will have a better chances to reach out to a larger audience. So guys, help me now. Help me to press the like button now. For those who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for strong support. Let's quickly understand what is actually a constellation diagram? Okay, a constellation diagram, in fact, is a very simple graphical representation of the symbol. Okay, so this is not bit, but rather than that, it's a symbol that used in a digital modulation scheme. Okay, so it can be bit, okay, but most of the time, if it's a bit, then we will not want to use constellation diagram to represent. So in short, most of the time, we actually want to represent the symbol okay, for the digital modulator scheme in the constellation diagram. Okay, so constellation diagram is simply just a 2D IQ plane, okay, which display the amplitude and also the phase. And that's why only amplitude ASK and PSK phase shifting can be represented. Okay, as the constellation diagram only display this 2D amplitude and phase, and hence frequency shifting will not be able to represent in the constellation diagram. So this diagram here shows a very simple constellation diagram. So the x-axis can represent the I in phase component. So basically this is the x-axis. So they are, we call this real part. Okay, so we also have the y-axis, okay, which represent the quadratic component, okay, which is the imaginary part. Okay, so I will come to this a little bit more on the next few slides here. Okay, what is the purpose of the constellation diagram? Okay, so earlier on, I mentioned that it will be very easy for us to visualize okay, how simple are the code okay, in amplitude and also in phase. Okay, I will show this with more example later on. Okay, but in short, based on the point on the constellation diagram, I will be able to interpret the symbol that you intend to transmit. So besides showing the symbol, okay, so this constellation diagram also help us to analyze the noise the distortion and also the interference in a communication system. So besides to show the actual value or the actual symbol, okay, so basically the constellation will be also to indicate 
okay, whether there's a lot of noise, a lot of distortion and interference in the communication system, how robust is the signal? So the constellation diagram is also used for debugging and also to optimize the digital modulation scheme. Some common digital modulation scheme and also the use on their constellation diagram here. So we have this ASK. Okay, although I mentioned that constellation diagram typically okay, may not be applicable for ASK, amplitude shift keying, okay, but it is still possible. Okay, so for only amplitude change, so when we actually have this ASK, the amplitude change. So for this video, I will show you beside two ASK and also four SK, which I'm going to illustrate on my next few slides. Next will be on PSK, phase shift key in. Okay, so basically the symbol actually different in phase. For BPSK, we actually just need to have two points on the constellation diagram. They could be at zero degree and at 180 degree. But for QPSK, okay, which is quarter, okay, we actually has four points on the constellation diagram. Okay, it can be as following number, okay, or it can be on another form. Okay, again, this ASK and PSK I will address in this video. As for QAM, okay, quadratic amplitude modulation will be on my next video. So for this case here, beside vary the amplitude, beside vary the phase, okay, for QAM, they actually vary both the amplitude and also the phase. Okay, so basically we have this 16 QAM, which again, I will illustrate on my next video. Okay, so for a very simple given symbol, okay, we can actually represent the amplitude and also the phase, okay, as shown in this IQ diagram here. Okay, so basically for this constellation diagram, in fact, they have many names. Okay, they could be calling IQ diagram and also vector diagram. They mean the same thing here. So basically from this diagram here, you can see that I can actually vary the amplitude. Okay, so basically I can vary the amplitude. I can also vary the phase. For example, over here, I can have a positive one and minus one, okay, which indicate the difference in terms of amplitude. But over here, you can also see that I can actually vary the phase. For example, this is a zero degree phase. This is a 180 degree phase. So therefore, okay, over here, you can see that I can actually represent okay, either the amplitude or the phase difference here. So let's plot these two points on the IQ diagram. Okay, assume a magnitude of one. Okay, so basically we will have just a magnitude of one. Okay, in practice, the exact magnitude does not matter much. Okay, a higher value simply means a higher power signal, but you could also achieve the same effect by increasing the amplifier gain. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier on, typically for constellation diagram, okay, it doesn't play a significant role for ASK. It mainly for PSK. So hence, okay, the magnitude is not much of concern. Okay, what value of amplitude can be easily boosted up by an amplifier? So this is what you want to say. The IQ plot actually illustrates what we will be transmitting. Or to be more precise, the set of symbols that we actually want to use for transmission. Okay, it does not include the carrier. Okay, so basically it does not include the carrier. So you can think of a very primitive way is to represent the baseband symbol, okay, which is the baseband signal here, a string of one and zero, for example, here. When we actually display all possible symbols for a given modulation scheme in this way, okay, we actually refer it as a constellation. Many modulation schemes are actually defined by their constellation. Okay, so let's take a close look. Okay, for example, now I want to represent the ASK, two ASK in a constellation diagram. As I mentioned earlier on, this is actually what we call a constellation diagram, a IQ diagram here. Okay, for example, okay, we actually predefine that. For example, if the message is zero, okay, we have an amplitude of two. When the message is one, I actually can have an amplitude of five to indicate here. So basically, on this constellation diagram, for example, the message now is zero. Okay, I, I actually can represent by this over here. You can see that my magnitude is two and my face is zero because anything on this line will be all zero. So from here, I can actually easily represent the message zero by indicate this point on the constellation diagram. Next, okay, when the message is one, okay, so basically I need to have a larger amplitude of five for this case here. So basically this is the amplitude of five and from here you can easily see that this will be the magnitude having a five here. 
So when the point actually appeared here, it means a message one actually so-called is the desire message. So basically from here, you can see that by controlling the amplitude, okay, either two or five, I actually can represent the message zero or one respectively. So basically this is what we call the ASK. How can we actually represent ASK in a constellation diagram? So next, okay. Okay, so next I will do a slightly a little bit more challenging on a four ASK, okay, which means that I actually will have four points on the constellation diagram. Okay, so let's keep the same thing here. So when the message is zero zero, I will be indicated by an amplitude of two. When the message is zero one, I will indicate by the amplitude of three. And when the message is one zero, I will indicate by a message of four. And last but not least, when the message is 1, 1, I will indicate the message as having a amplitude of 5. From here, you can see that earlier on, on a 2, A, 2 ASK, I actually can indicate either 0 or 1. But for this case here, for 4 ASK, okay, instead of 1 bit, actually, I can actually represent 2 bits, which is called a symbol here. Okay, so this 2 bits is actually a symbol. So basically, on the location of the constellation diagram, I will be able to tell instantly 2 bits of data. Whether is it 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, I will look at the location on the constellation diagram. For example, now, okay, if the message is 0, 0, okay, I will have a magnitude of 2 okay, to indicate this message here. So now, for example, now, instead of 0, 0, I have a message 0, 1. So I will indicate them with a magnitude of 3, as you can see from here. Now again, if the message is 1, 0, okay, I will control my amplitude okay, to show a 4 to indicate the message is 1, 0. And last but not least, when the message is 1, 1, okay, I actually can have an amplitude of 5 to indicate this message. So from here, you can imagine that okay, if the message is whatever message, as you can see from here, 2 bits of message, I can actually change the amplitude okay, to represent the signal on the constellation diagram. And from here, you are able to decode the message that I actually intend to send it to you. You just imagine, as I said earlier on, okay, you just imagine that you sit in front of this constellation diagram. Based on the location, okay, on the constellation diagram, you will be able to decode the message as you can see what I have done just now. So basically, this is for, for ASK. So Again, guys here, so this is a very simple conclusion to show you the different form of ASK. These two are the ones that I show you to you for my illustration of the example. Okay, but keep this in mind, you can actually have this form here. So instead of plus one, you can also have minus one. So basically, this is the same for BPSK. But over here, you can see that I just changed the amplitude. This is plus one. This is minus one. So basically, I just changed the amplitude. Okay, but it's the same for PPSK, a zero degree and also a 180 degree, which I'm going to illustrate later on. Okay, so basically, in short, this is for 2SK. So beside okay, having at the same axis, you can actually have a bipolar. Same for this case here. So for 4ASK, I have showed this to you. Okay, but you keep this in mind. You can also show this Okay, to indicate the 4 ASK. So to expand it to 8 ASK, okay, I guess you can imagine how to represent all this by just changing the so-called amplitude of the signal here. Okay, so before I move on to PSK, again, guys, urge you to help me. If you have learned something from this video, you find this video relevant, help me by like and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Let's come to the PSK. Okay, so again, okay, I'm going to have some example to let you understand the concept of BPSK. Okay, so this B means two, okay, which means that I'm going to have two points on the constellation diagram. Okay, for example, here, okay, if the signal is zero, okay, I'm going to have a phase shift of zero. Okay, so from this diagram here, you can see that the phase shift is zero while I maintain the amplitude. Keep this in mind, the amplitude I will not be changing. Okay, I will be only changing the phase. Earlier on, when we talk about ASK, I actually change the amplitude according to the message. But for this BPSK, I actually change the phase according to the message. So over here, you can see that, okay, for example, my message is zero. I will have a phase shift of zero to indicate so-called a message of zero. And when my message is one, I have 
have easily have this phase shift of 180 degree to indicate the message of one. Okay, let's come to this again. So let's say my message is zero. Okay, you can see that I indicate this point on the constellation diagram with a phase shift of zero. Then you know that the message is actually zero. So on the other case here, for example, when my message is one, okay, I actually can indicate over here. As you can see that I actually has a 180 degree shift here on the phase shift. And you can see that amplitude is still the same. So basically, by looking at the location okay, on the constellation diagram, I will be able to know what message that you actually send it to me, whether is it a zero or one based on the location of the constellation diagram, I will be able to obtain the message here. Okay, so basically this is for the BPSK. So now let's move on to slightly more complicated okay, on the QPSK. Okay, so for QPSK, okay, as I mentioned, for Q is quarter. So which means that I actually has four points on the constellation diagram. Okay, for example, when the message is zero, zero, okay, I can have a phase shift of zero. When the message is zero, one, I can have a phase shift of 90. And when the message is one, zero, I can have a phase, a phase shift of 270 degree to indicate. And last but not least, when my message is one, one, I can have a phase shift of 180 degree to represent. Okay, let's take a look how can we actually do this here. Okay, for example, the message is zero, zero. Okay, so basically you can see from here, okay, I have the same amplitude here with a phase shift of zero to indicate this message zero, zero. So basically you can see that this is actually having a phase shift of zero. Next, okay, for example, for this case here, next, I actually has a message zero, one. So I actually can indicate a phase shift of 90. Okay, so from here to shift over here, is actually a phase shift of 90. So basically, I can easily indicate my message here. As you can see from here, the amplitude is still the same. Okay, I just take a look on the face to tell the message, which is 0, 1 for this particular case. Next will be on 1, 0. Okay, so what will I need to do is for 1, 0 is actually a phase shift of 270 degree. From here, shift over here is 270 degree. If not minus 90, I'm also okay. Okay, so basically you can see that again, like to re-emphasize that amplitude is still the same. Okay, but the phase actually changed. So basically when I actually indicate this point at the constellation diagram, you know that the message one zero is actually so-called sent over to you. And last but not least, okay, on the last one, okay, which is 180 degree. Okay, so one on the 180 degree, okay, is actually for the message one one here. So from here, you can see that basically by controlling the phase for this case here, 180 degree, I know that message 11 is actually sent up by you. Okay, so basically in short here, okay, this constellation diagram is mainly for PSK. Okay, but keep this in mind, it's still possible to use for ASK, but mainly for PSK. I have also illustrated on the ASK on the two level and also the four level. But like I mentioned early on, Typically, constellation diagram is for PSK. Over here, you can see that, for example, for QPSK, okay, which means that I have four points on the constellation diagram. Okay, the zero point here, okay, the 90 degree point is here, the 270 degree point is here, and this is actually the 100, uh, 180 degree point. Okay, by showing the point at the so-called on the constellation diagram, you will be able to decode the message. Okay, so basically, this is how the constellation diagram works. Or maybe in short, this is actually how you actually interpret what will be the intent transmit message by looking at the location of the constellation diagram. Based on the face, you are actually able to decode the message as I illustrated earlier on. Okay, so with this, i like to end my discussion. Okay, please help to, to like and also subscribe to this channel. Once again, thank you so much for song support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much.